Hey, it's a fabulous day for foliage here in the flower studio. And I wanted to talk to you about one of my favorite products from our friends at Fern Trust. Um, we've talked about them as uh, obviously a great name for the company, Fern You Can Trust. Um, they are a cooperative of 11 uh, foliage farmers who grow 126 varieties of foliage in the fern capital of the world. Um, I've been there, it's about an hour north of Orlando and it is the perfect spot. They call it the citrus bubble. It's kind of where they used to grow tangerines, but they don't any longer. If, when you go to the Fern Trust Ranch, you can see in the farms, you'll see citrus trees that are still there. But they found out that this is the perfect place on the planet to grow foliage. And so that's why they are based there. That's why they do such a good job. And um, I've done a couple of other videos that you may want to check out here. One about the uh, green bouquet and another one about a smaller foliage bouquet called Just Add Flowers. Um, but today we're going to talk about the ultimate. Yeah, the ultimate green bouquet. And this is called the ultimate because it is. It's, it is an incredible collection of foliages that they have put together for you. The concept behind the green bouquets was created by my friend and mentor, Bobby Ecker, who decided that it would be a great idea for us to have a bouquet of foliage like this that we could just drop into a vase and it would be ready for arranging. Um, and as we thought about that process, the other thing that uh, Bobby always used to say was, well, why has it got to have flowers? Why can't it just be such a beautiful textural mixture of those beautiful foliages that it could stand alone? Obviously, it can have flowers. That's great. But let's create something that's the ultimate, the thing that will have everybody screaming about all the different types of foliage. The thing I love about uh, All Foliage Bouquet is that it can have a uh, vase life of two to three weeks. You can let it stand alone. You could add fresh flowers to it, fresh flowers that you've purchased at your flower cellar or fresh flowers you've taken out of your garden. You could use artificial flowers. Some people, I know some people have um, two homes, uh, you know, and or a vacation home or you go somewhere and you don't and, and you know, they want to have the experience of fresh flowers without, you know, having to worry about them. So you could even use beautiful permanent botanicals in here. You could use dried flowers in here. You could use you could make ribbon roses. Uh, my friend Luna um, creates these beautiful um, in 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 Tucson creates these beautiful paper flowers. These are all great backgrounds, but I wanted to show you this ultimate bouquet. So the ultimate bouquet looks like this, okay? This is the little one. This is the Just Add Flowers. Here, just so for a size comparison, let's look at that. Just Add Flowers, green bouquet, and here is the ultimate. Look at that, look at that stem, okay? right and so here's what we have in this beautiful bouquet now one of the things that i talked to you about is the fact that this bouquet is also arranged for you because they are created by the artisans there at fern trust who create this bouquet so you can simply cut the stems and drop it into a vase and it's ready to go so i would be remiss if that isn't what we do, right? So you know what, here, let's, I'm gonna set this back here because that's gonna be the one we're gonna do that with and we're gonna do it with this space, okay? So let's take a look. This is another ultimate bouquet. Let's take a look at what's inside here. Let's take a look at what you get. And I wanna encourage you, when you're getting flowers, um, going to your flower cellar, Ask them about a greens bouquet, a foliage bouquet that you can use to assist yourself in creating a foliage arrangement and a fresh flower arrangement too, so that you can use the foliage as structure inside your arrangement, okay? So that's why they're useful and why they're helpful. Um, you know, sometimes people pick up that bouquet of flowers at the grocery store and they get them home and they're like, oh, now what do I do? Okay, and a foliage bouquet really helps you with that comfort level, really helps you feel better about it. So I wanna show you what's inside here. So let's take a look and see 
what we have in here. This is Coculus, okay? Which is so beautiful. Look at that, okay? I think that that's gorgeous. We've got um, Weeping Podocarpus, okay? Weeping Podocarpus. Here's the Coculus, all right? So there's that. Here's another piece of the beautiful Podocarpus, the Weeping Podocarpus. Here is some boxwood, okay? When we talk about fragrance and thinking about that, boxwood adds a unique fragrance to, a, to an arrangement. And I think that that's really, really fun. I love that. But look at how pretty that is. A great, another textural item. When we're talking about texture, we have curly willow inside there. Look at that curly willow, how pretty that is. Okay. We've got out uh, here, one of my favorites, um, the lily grass. I love the lily grass. So that's a great texture. Here's another piece or two of that um, beautiful podocarpus. Okay, so that's going there. We've got pittosporum, uh, variegated pittosporum, one of my favorite foliages. A, it's variegated and it looks so great inside this bouquet. Plus the fact that there's almost a minty fresh fragrance that goes along with that variegated Pittosporum or variegated Pittosporum, if you want to be a little more fancy. Okay, there's that. All right, so we've got a little bit more of that inside here. We go. I'll go over there. We have got Ruscus. I love the Ruscus. Right now, the Ruscus is getting like a little um, sprout on the leaves. Almost looks like a little grasshopper. But this is one of the longest lasting foliages you're ever going to ever going to experience. Ruscus lasts such a long time. Along with our Aspidistra. It's called the cast iron plant for a reason because it is so long lasting. And then we have Milky Way, which is also an Aspidistra, but it's called Milky Way because of the Milky Way-like pattern that looks like stars on the, the leaves. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of our Florida foliage, our Florida fern or leather leaf, as some people call it, or uh, baker fern, but it looks like that. And again, right now, I just like to remind you that I have a great little video here about the spores because the spores are starting to form on the back of this right now. And so there are those little tiny bumps that are on the back. I don't know if you can see that. That's, I don't know if you're going to be able to be close enough to see that, but maybe. Okay. And that's how they reproduce. So it's, um, it's, it's that time of year when those little spores are starting to develop. And actually they're going to turn black after they turn this kind of like little brown color. And I just think it's an amazing part. And it's when we know then also that the firm, the fern is ripe to be, to be harvested. It's been hardened off. Um, when the fern first sprouts out, it's very light green and it's very fragile and it's not going to hold up for us in arrangements. But once it's had our, our, the spores on it, then we know that it's hardened off, it's durable, it's tough, it's going to last a long time. So all of those things are in our arrangement. Okay, really, really fun way for us to do that. And so now let's take a look at what it would be like if we just cut this and dropped it into our vase. Where am I going to go with these guys? I'm going to go right back in my bucket. So this could be a, um, now, could you individually arrange those into this beautiful arrangement? Absolutely, positively. That would work very well too. But I want to show you how easy it is if you're going to create an arrangement. And so I'm just going to trim these. Oh, and some of those stems are big. So that's why I'm using my dram bypass cutter to make sure that I'm cutting everybody. And I'm giving everybody a fresh cut. I'm going to remove the rubber band on the outside. I'm going to pull off any foliage that might fall below the waterline because that's super important to just make sure that we don't have those guys creating bacteria down inside there and then drop into our base. Okay. Now I can come back and adjust, but look at how great that looks already. Right. And so I'm just going to go through here and look, I'm going to want my Aspidistra and Milky Way here to more. And if I want something to change its spot, I can do that. 
because I've got this beautiful all foliage arrangement. Look at that boxwood that we talked about in there. We've got the curly willow that's causing excitement. I'm just going to adjust that a little bit because I want it to kind of wing out on that side. I've got my aspidistra leaves that are going to lay down here and look beautiful. I'm going to bring the Milky Way back here. I, I want to be able to see that Milky Way because of its beautiful pattern of variegation on it. That's really, really nice. And look at that. Look at how great that looks. Now, sometimes you might come in here and say, you know what? I want this guy to be, this was, this was a honker stem of my podocarpus. But maybe I want that guy to be a little bit shorter down here towards that. I think that's good. I'm going to shorten up this stem just a hair. And realize that when I'm doing this, I am getting the same health and wellness benefits when I'm arranging foliage as when I'm arranging flowers. Super, super easy. Okay? And so I could sit this on my table and it's going to last for weeks. I'm going to check the water. I'm going to add water to it. I'm going to do all of those sorts of things. Same thing I would do with my foliages or with my flowers. I'm going to do with my foliages so that I'm sure that it's beautiful and it's going to last a long time. Now, you can see what this guy would look like. And again, they have used the fern cool process. I think that that's another important part about our friends at Fern Trust because they have Taking the fern cool process, what happens is when the foliages come in, they might be heated because it's warm in Florida. They take them and they put them in these giant metal baskets, and then they submerge them under 40 degree temperature formula. It's a special hydration formula that also seals the foliages, makes it look shiny, and makes it last longer. Cooling those foliages helps them last longer and helps them transport much better. Any type of vegetation, flowers or foliage, when we've put it in a box and we're shipping it somewhere and it's dry and it's laying there and it gets warm, it's going to generate heat and that can be damaging to that foliage. But the fern cool process prevents that. So that's very helpful. Now, what if we wanted to add a few flowers to this? Oh, Jay, what would you do? I have a perfect solution. When I went to the flower cellar this week, they had these and I almost had to sit down. Okay. They are green protea, green mink protea. Aren't those incredible? And what I'm going to do is I want to add those to my bouquet right down here. Now, you know what? What I'm going to do too with these, with these, uh, because I'm adding protea. Sorry, and I know you can't see through here, so I'm going to spin around so you can see. Look at how those look. Look at how great that looks. That's amazing, right? Because I've added protea, they have a fuzzy stem. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two of my uh, CVBN tablets, okay? The CVBN tablets from our friends at Chrysal. Little chlorine, time-release chlorine tablets that are going to ensure that it keeps the water clear and prevents bacteria growth inside there. Because those guys have fuzzy stems, they could cause some bacteria growth inside there. Now, I think what I will also do is, let's just stay in the green theme while we're adding a few flowers. And let's add a couple of the green Fuji mums, okay? You'll notice that I'm going to kind of group them together. Okay. So that it looks like that, right? And then, of course, I grabbed a few of my favorites, which are the um, green, green carnations. Okay. Broke his little stem a little bit there. Okay. Now notice these guys are just opening up. And when I got at when I went to the flower cellar the other day, um, Courtney said to me, Oh, the green ones are really tight. Is that okay with you? Absolutely. I want to have carnations that are good and tight because as they open up for me, they are going to last so long. I have some carnations over here right now 
that are three weeks old and they are still beautiful. And I love that because I want to make sure that my carnations are tight. And so that's not a problem at all. I know some people want to have them be open right away, but I would rather enjoy every second of them opening with my experience with the flowers. I think that that's the important part about that. So see how that's looking on that side. And I'm just going to bring a couple more over here on this side by our um, green Fuji mums. Okay. Actually, the inspiration for the green, um, the green carnations was from my friends at Fern Trust because I saw a post that they did the other day where they had um, some green carnations along with their foliage. And I thought, oh, that looks so beautiful. I think I'm going to do that. So when I was there, I was like, oh, yeah, I'll grab some of those. I think that's pretty. So look at that. Okay. Um, benefits. Now, we talked about the Fern Cool process that they use on the foliage. But I also still always like to use my Chrysler Professional Glory because that is going to help seal my fresh flowers and it's not going to hurt my foliage. It's going to make my, it's going to help seal my foliage too so that it lasts well. All right. Look at that. Look at that. I want that guy to come down a little bit more. I like to tug on my aspidistra leaves because then you can kind of get them to flop down a little bit more and that's super helpful because I want to see that. Look, I want to see that. Milky Way, perfect. So again, this is the ultimate bouquet. All of those different types of foliages together in this bouquet, allowing us to create something that's really going to be beautiful. Um, it can stand alone by itself with no flowers whatsoever, or we can have flowers like this. Think of how far it would go to if you were making maybe five or six arrangements or you were gonna have a party. Maybe you wanna get an ultimate bouquet because you can separate it out and use it in a whole bunch of different ways. Um, I have had people who have also gotten these for special events and use them as a decoration on a table where um, it's just the foliage on the table. And what a great way to do that too. So um, if you're interested in any of the products that you've seen in these, be sure and contact my friend Jana at uh, Fern Trust, and you can reach her at Jana, J-A-N-A, -A, at ferntrust.com. Um, and you can ask her any questions about where you can get them, where they might be located in your area, who distributes them, that kind of thing. Or ask your flower seller, say, hey, I want you to carry some green bouquets for me so that I'm able to use them as structure and put my first step with foliage in my arrangements. I want to go foliage first in those bouquets. I think that that's important for you to think about that. So I hope you enjoyed these. Um, again, there's three other videos. There's one about just for flowers, the smaller bouquet. There's one about the green bouquet and this one about the ultimate. So check all those out. Be sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook so that you can see these arrangements up close and in person. And uh, I hope that you continue to have fun with flowers and foliage until next time.